Hey guys, it's Rich Man, and coming up next, one of the coolest tech gadgets I've ever reviewed on this channel. Now that I've got my hot little hands on it, it's not going anywhere. And once you see what this baby can do, you're going to want one too, or maybe two or three. Today, we're going wireless on Rich Man Knows Tech. Hey tech junkies, Rich Man here to take a look at the latest and greatest tech devices on the market. If you're into any kind of tech gadgets, then this is the channel for you. Make sure to subscribe below. Now today, we're taking a look at the world of wireless HDMI transmission with the BMOST Wireless HD Extender. It's a great piece of tech that I never knew existed, but now I can't do without it. In fact, this might be the most important component in your home entertainment setup. Get it? BMOST? Now, why would you want a wireless HDMI system? Well, I can think of a thousand reasons, but how about getting rid of all that tangled cord clutter behind your TV? Or the flexibility of placing your home entertainment components wherever you want to, instead of being limited by the length of a cable? Or how about portability? Take it anywhere you want to, on the road, giving demonstrations on your laptop, or beaming your content wirelessly over to a larger display. Or what if you just want to stream a movie from your laptop, or like me, play a game on your Xbox or PS5 without having all those cables running across your floor? Well, now you can do all of those things with the BMOST Wireless HD Extender. It's a solution I've been looking for for a long, long time. And you might find that, like me, that now you can't do without it. So having said all that, let's take a look at what's in the box. So here's the wireless HD extender box, and you can see it says full HD 1080p. Doesn't support 4K, but that's not a big deal to me. If it is to you, then these may not be for you. Let's open her up. And the first thing you're gonna see are these two modules. This is what you're gonna plug into your HDMI ports. Now, if you look closely on the ends, You'll see that one has a TX on the bottom, that's the transmitter, and one has an RX, that's the receiver. They also come with these cool little dust covers that protect the HDMI connectors. Great if you're taking these on the road and you just want to throw them into a travel bag. Next, you do have a little manual here with basic instructions that you're not really going to need. And in the bottom, you've got some cords. Now these are the two USB-C to USB-A cables that power up your two modules. And over here, you've got a couple of HDMI extenders, a short one and a longer one. That's for using in those hard to get to areas, like behind your TV or under your computer monitor, where it would just be hard to fit this into. And we also have two adapters that your HDMI can plug into if you have a smaller HDMI input. And that's it, that's everything that's in the box. Now I'm gonna set this up using my Xbox. It's really easy because this is just a plug and play setup. So the first thing you wanna do is grab your module with the TX on the bottom. That's the transmitter. And we're gonna plug it into the back of the Xbox where the HDMI output is. So let's do that now. Goes right up here. And it actually fits right in there without using one of the extenders. Next, we have to plug in the power. So I've got one of the power cables right here. I'm gonna plug the USB-C side right into the side of the module here. Then I'm going to plug this end into a USB port to give it power. And that's it for the transmitter. So now I'm going to hook up the receiver module to my computer monitor. I've already got one of the HDMI extenders plugged into the back. So I just have to plug the module into the extender. Just like that. Then I'm going to plug the power cable into the side of the module and then plug it into one of these power bricks. 
which is going to go to power. Now, although this is powering up, my Xbox isn't powered on yet. So the other module hasn't started to boot up and communicate with this one yet. So right now we're going to start up the Xbox. That module will start to power up. And within just a few seconds, you're going to see the Xbox pop up on my computer monitor. And there you have it. What That took about 5, 10 seconds maybe. And you can see that I'm now on my Xbox. Quick, easy, plug and play. Now, this transmitter receiver duo actually uses both 5 gigahertz and 2 gigahertz frequency bands for the best possible performance. It has a transmission distance of up to 98 feet, so you can enjoy streaming without the need for complicated setups or cables. They use the 2.4 gigahertz band for a longer transmission range and the 5 gigahertz band for a faster, more stable connection over shorter distances. You can use these modules for a lot of different things too like connecting up the four monitors at once to just one transmitter, or mirroring your desktop to extend your workspace, or just playing video games from your Xbox or PS5 like I am, without having to have an HDMI cord laying across my floor for people to trip over, including myself. Or maybe you can think of some other things to use these for. Leave your ideas in the comments below. You see, there's no complicated setup with these. You can connect it to a PC, a laptop, a gaming console, or a TV box, and the process is always the same. Now let me go through some of the pros really quickly. The modules are compact and portable, and they're perfect for on-the-go use. Just toss them in your travel bag and go. With their dual-band Wi-Fi technology and transmit distance up to 98 feet, the connection is stable and it's completely hassle-free with its plug-and-play setup. No complicated pairing required, and no drivers have to be downloaded. They connect almost instantly, and they're compatible with almost any device with an HDMI out port. Now, I do have a few minor cons. They are limited to 1080p resolution, so if that's a big deal for you, then these might not be for you. It's not a deal breaker for me, though, as 1080p is still a great quality picture. They also don't come with standard USB power modules, you know, like this one but you can plug them into your TV's USB port for power or use the ones you have hanging around the house from other tech gadgets you purchased in the past. That's probably to keep the price down as it's something that Apple started doing not too long ago. Their signal also works best with a direct line of sight. So any walls in between won't stop the connection, but it will affect the maximum range of the modules. So what are my final thoughts on the BMOS HD extenders? Well, these modules are great if you're looking for a cleaner, streamlined home entertainment setup without the cable clutter. You can use them in office meetings, business presentations, or just use them in your home entertainment system. The performance is great and they're super convenient and super easy to use. If you're looking for a solution to a wireless HDMI connection, you really should check out these modules. I know I'll be using them in my setup for the foreseeable future. Well, that wraps up my review of the BMOS Wireless HD Extenders. If you want to learn more about them or snag one for yourself, make sure to check out my exclusive link in the description below. This is Richman. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.